What up, everybody? What up, what up, YouTube? What up, Instagram? What up, Facebook? What up, Twitter? Whatever social media I decide to put this on. Coming at you with a little update real quick. Let me check my phone real quick. Okay. Coming at you with a little, not really an update, but more of an unboxing video. My, uh, in my last video, I told you guys I ordered some, uh, some shorty mufflers, some little shorty pipes for the booster. So we're going to um, go ahead and unbox that and check those out. I ordered these from Amazon. I ordered a two-pack since the booster has uh, dual exhaust. So let's go ahead and crack this open real quick. Easy as that. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and... Cut that open real quick. There's nothing better than opening a box. I mean, like that's just those awesome feeling you get when you open up a package that you ordered. Hayabusa GP exhaust. Yeah, all that good stuff. There's a little, not really a manual, but I don't know what this is. Might be some ins installation instructions. Let's check that out real quick. Yep, installation instructions. I already know how to do all that. Woo, let's check these babies out. Oh yeah, I like that. Black on black to match. To match. Yeah, I didn't do that. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's actually the word all the uh, internals is. I forgot what they call it. Some kind of packing stuff they pack inside these. I don't know much about mufflers, but I know I wanted the shorty muffler because a friend of mine has the exact same boots that I got, and uh, he's he's got these on his. So let's pull out the other one. Oh, I'm making a mess, guys. Yep. So these go out the both sides on the bottom. It's got the packing in there too. It's not just like a little pipe. I can make this, but no, there are actually stuff inside of it. I don't know much about pipes, but I know these are cool. I wanted them. I like how they sound. And if people keep telling me I'll lose back pressure by putting the shorty changing on my mufflers, to tell you the truth, I don't really care. But yeah, this is the the booster shorty exhaust. Probably gonna install these in a little while. I'd say about next 15, 20 minutes. Depends on how hot it is outside because it looks pretty hot. Alrighty. What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Bronix26 coming at you with a little update. First off, before I start this video, just want to let you guys know I put some shorty pipes on the booster. I took off the big, uh, I had some Yoshis on here, some Yoshi Mira, the full pipe that came out like right here, so I took them off. I wanted that deep rattle sound, and I got it, baby. Oh my god. I love this so freaking much. Now when I extend the back end, it's gonna be freaking awesome. It's gonna be freaking awesome, guys. One more time, one more time. <laughs> I will show you guys while I was doing it, but I'm actually using my camera tripod to actually <laughs> mount this, but flawless. And I'm doing this with a rattle can, guys. So, yeah, I don't have my I have a actual spray gun and everything, but that's best for plastic dip. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Or maybe you can see Taz on my shirt. Tags and Bugs Bunny. There go Taz. There go Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Dope. But yeah, this is uh, before the uh, clear coat. This is just a black spray paint with uh, a gloss, black spray paint and gloss mixed in. But now I'm about to actually play, spray a couple more layers of uh, gloss on it. And we'll be back in a minute, guys. Just got done with the clear coat. And this baby is looking fresh. 
Look at that. CNS Customs, baby. Got the camera in front of me because I don't want that face revealed, but yeah. That's what that's what it is, y'all. CNS Customs stretch swing arm for the Busa. Just got done painting it. And it's looking like glass, baby. Excuse the ghetto ass setup, but uh hey, you gotta do what works, right? Looks like glass, don't it? And some of y'all are gonna be looking for the face reveal in the reflection. Yeah, I need to be paying attention to this dope ass swing arm now. Got the under bracing I added on there. You know what I'm saying? I had to get the under bracing on there. That's a little imperfection in the actual bar itself. That's not the paint. Right there. On that side right there. That's the actual imperfection in the metal. That's not the paint, believe me. My paint's flawless, baby. You can actually see it. It's like a dent in the metal. But whatever. It still looks good. I can't wait to throw this baby on. 10 inch stretch overall. But yeah, this baby is, is kicking. It's got the CMS Customs right there. Oh, baby, I can almost see myself. If I move this camera, I can see my face. That's how, that's how glassy it is. And we got the CMS Customs on the back of the swing arm, each side. You can't really see it because I'm, the light is, it's horrible. But yeah. <laughs> this is the baby right here. I can't wait to throw this baby on. 10 inch stretch swing arm for the booster coming soon before I go I wanted to show you guys where I actually taped off if you look right here and that line right there all the way around I taped off on both sides I taped off right here there's some bearings in there too as well I didn't take off for the brake mount because it's just a little part that goes through and it's going to bolt on each sides. And the inside where the wheel is going to mount, I taped off around the sides. Just because uh, I watched one of Mononosity's videos and he had his uh, swing arm for his um, supermoto build. And they had to shave off the paint right there. And it's not going to show anyway, so not a big deal to me. I just taped off from this little this weld line all the way to down here on the inside of the swing arm on the outside it's all painted and also taped where the chain uh, adjust bolt goes I taped off right there too but that's all the places I taped off and prepped and I cleaned it and everything like that but yeah baby booty smooth bro baby booty smooth